Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord and mercy. For peace from on high and for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our govern for our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Gurd, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> for this city, for our city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is you all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to Lord, the Lord, 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 Lord of the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Lord.
Let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. Oh, Son, Son of God, God risen from the dead, save us, us who sing to you. Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Oh, Oh. 
Let us be attentive, please be to all wisdom, be attentive. Make vows to the Lord your God, to the Lord your God, and fulfill them, and fulfill them. God is known in Judah, in Israel his name is great. God is wondrous in his saints, a God of Israel, a God of Israel. Wisdom. A reading from the Epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, by faith the saints conquered kingdoms did what was just, obtained the promises. They broke the jaws of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword. Though weak, they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Others were tortured and would not receive deliverance in order to obtain a better resurrection. Still others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sawed in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about garbed in the skins of sheep or goats, needy, afflicted, and tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains. They dwelt in caves and in holes of the earth. Yet despite the fact that all these were approved because of their faith, they did not obtain what had been promised. God had made a better plan, a plan which included us. Without, they were not made to be perfect. Therefore, we, we are part are surrounded by this cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every encumbrance, every encumbrance of sin which clings to us and persevere in running the race which lies ahead. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, who inspires and perfects our faith. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. According to Saint Matthew, Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to his disciples. Whoever acknowledges me before men, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. Whoever disowns me before men, I will disown before my Father in heaven. Whoever loves father or mother, son or daughter, or daughter more than me, is not worthy of me. He who will not take up his cross and come after me is not worthy of me. 
Then Peter said to him, Here we have put everything aside to follow you. What can we expect from it? Jesus said to them, I give you my solemn word. In the new age, when the Son of Man takes his seat upon the throne, befitting his glory, you who have followed me shall likewise take your place on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. Moreover, everyone who has given up home, brothers or sisters, father or mother, wife or children, or property for my sake will receive many times as much and inherit everlasting life. Many who are first shall come last, and the last shall come first. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on the first Sunday after Pentecost, the Church celebrates All Saints Sunday. On this day, we especially remember the blessing, blessed Virgin, Apostles, Prophets, Murders, Confessors, Saints, men and women known to the world and known only to God. All Saints Day we be, can be called the day of remembrance of the unknown saint. Saints are like us in everything. They have been where we are now. They are being now where we hope to be someday. For many today Christians, the word saint is associated with ancient murders torn by lions in the Roman Coliseum. However, murderdom did not end with the fall of the Roman Empire and the Soviet Union or any other totalitarian regime. In today's world, it is not politically correct to talk about the murderdom of Christians. Therefore, modern murders die far, far from television cameras and remain unknown outside their towns and villages. And only from time to time we can hear about it on TV. And in general, much of what is Tolerated today leads to the tragedies we hear about on television, such as kill, killings of people and children, wars, and various that lead to self-destruction. This is all the result of the fact that a person prefers to remain silent than to tell the truth. But not about that now. As we can see from the Gospel reading, testifying Christ to people is directly related to carrying the cross. But in recent years, the opposite view has begun to be preached and affirmed. The Gospel of Prosperity wealth and success. Such a sermon consists of simple statements. Become a Christian and you will be successful, rich, famous, free. You will have a happy family and 
obedient children. And here I want to say of such people, if you think it's easy to live the Christian life, you never lived it. The West majority of people want to serve God, but only as advisors, telling him what to do and how to do it. Do you know I would, I would not want to criticize, but today man does not want to sacrifice for God and for himself as well, just two hours. The time of the liturgy, especially ours, the Byzantine one, has shortened. As I said the last time, last Sunday, we want to be brief, clear and to, and to the point, and scatter each in his own way. The general illusion of the Christian life is that, is that it is slightly different from the non-Christian life. One woman said, to become a Christian, you only have to go to church once a week. Unfortunately, her opinion is not a rarity. And finally, I want to tell you a story. Two brothers from childhood dreamed of becoming military. When they turned 18, both came to the military registration and enlistment office. However, only one of them became a soldier. The second one change his mind after learning that it was necessary to shave his hair like mine, get up at four o'clock every morning and follow the order, orders of the commanders. The army looked good on TV, but sacrificing one's comfort for it seemed too much. Each of the young men made his choice. Their des desires were proud to distinguish men from young adult. Every Christian goes through a similar test. At one time, everyone is faced with a choice to remain faithful to God or to serve the world according to its rules. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. service of our country. Lord, have mercy. 
of your, our church, all those who are present here, all parishioners, and those who pray with us online, may they be given health and longevity. Lord, listen to us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray to the Lord our God for all the sick parish of this holy church, for the healing of their souls and bodies. Strengthen them, O Lord, their faith, and strengthen them, them in hope, for you are the source of healing and the giver of all good. Lord, listen to us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, and our God loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly, the economic monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. 
May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever, and forever. For the precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Peace be to all. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may profess. In wisdom, let us be attentive. Creator of heaven and earth, visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, Light from light, through God, from true God. We got him not made, one is essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried. He rose on the third day, according to the Scriptures, and into heaven and sits the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Yes. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give 
thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion, you for you. Our God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existent, yet ever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing and down until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though that there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Sanna, in the kind master and say holy are you and all holy you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory you so loved your world that you gave your only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting he came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life on the wo of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. For the remission of sins. Amen. I the picture after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the session into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. We praise you, we sacrifice and we implore, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this gift lying before us, and may this bread, the precious body of your Christ. Amen. 
and that which is in this shall is the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, no judgment or, or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, murderers, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Deotokos and the ever Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theotokos, the ever blessed, immaculate, and the Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim who a virgin gave birth to god the word you truly the theotokos we magnify among the first the lord remember our holy father francis pope of rome our most reverend metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, the city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sin, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offering and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor, and upon all of us and down your mercies, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Let we be delivered from all affliction, wrath and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful, and of our life, and for a good account before the fierce and judgment seat of Christ. 
Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who loves us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, no judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. By your immeasurable power, you have fashioned all, all things, and the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of non existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick, a physician of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Through us to all the people. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. One is holy. One That you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, 
nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself mm -hmm. to us. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. Praise Him in the highest. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous one. Praise from the upright is fitting. Praise from the upright is fitting. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh. 
and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. 
Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and ever perfect gift is from above coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now and ever and forever, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the grace of his most pure mother, patroness of this holy church, and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, of our Holy Father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the praise of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, according to the schedule of services, this week on Wednesday we will have a liturgy in the old Slavonic language. The liturgy will be in the parish of St. John. Uh, invite you to this liturgy. I do not know when you last heard the liturgy in the original language of our tradition, but therefore such an opportunity is available on Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Next uh, weekend we celebrate uh, Father's Day. Uh, that's why I invite all fathers to pray together with the, their families. Mm, summer has begun and everyone has their own plans of this, of this peri period. But we must remember that there is no occasion in the spiritual life. We must use this time for the benefit of our health and for the benefit of the soul. Therefore, I sincerely invite all you, all our parishioners, together with their children and godchildren, to Sunday liturgy. And if possible, on weekdays. Um, there was a proposal to have a parish, parish picnic for children and adults, for both parishes, together. So uh, I give you food for thought, food for thought or thought. We need to determining the day and time. 
if anyone would like to help, uh, please contact with Mr. Vince Feyog. So that we know the number of people willing to help. I think it will most likely be a family picnic for the church family. Next, uh, I put a box in the lobby. This is a box for questions and suggestions. This box will be there permanently. If anyone has any questions or suggestions or comments, comments, you can write and throw in this box. From time to time I will take notes from there and I will answer the questions or we will consider proposals together. It will be completely anonymous, so you do not uh, need to write your name because uh, often people are embarrassed embarrassed to ask directly or make comments. Sometimes it happened. Please uh, also uh, note that liturgy in the parish here on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday during the summer will be at 8 o'clock in the morning. If anyone has any question or suggestions, Please stay after liturgy and feel free. So, okay. Today I wish you all a good weekend and blessed week. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. To all priestly and monastic order, to all our brothers and sisters, and to all Christians of the true faith, to all our parishioners here present, grant, O Lord, many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many, grant us many blessed years. Without your